everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about something that was said by a man a long time ago, I think. Now, the reason why I say it like this is because I tried to find the quote that we are going to be talking about online and I couldn't find it. But the quote attributed to Mr. Hemingway came to me through crew member Allen over at Big Hard Classics and Bucks, where on one of the videos, I think it was the Tidy Up video, and he said that Hemingway said this thing, and it was a great quote. So at the end of the day, whether Hemingway said it or not, it doesn't fucking matter because it was a damn good quote. So we're going to talk about it. So this quote that you haven't heard yet because I haven't shared it with you because I'm a bad host. Let me get on the fucking ball. What the fuck? Okay, so this is what the quote is. It says, a great novel can come from an overheard conversation at a party or the wreck of his entire life. And each one is as good as the other. I threw each in there for some reason. And one is as good as another. Damn it, I said that wrong too. And one is as good as the other. Fuck me, dude. All right, so here's the thing. Whether or not you like Hemingway, doesn't matter. Because that, if that is a Hemingway quote, is gold. Like, that's legit real shit right there. So let's talk about this. The reason why I bring this up is because I have been talking to people online for many, many years now. But um, I've been talking to people who read my poetry. And they'll say things to me like, oh my gosh, you live the craziest life. You're having so much fun. Oh my God, you do so much stuff. I really fucking don't. I really don't. Okay? But I've lived a lot longer than some of you, and I have fucked my life up repeatedly, okay? And yes, I do do things every once in a while, but when I do those things every once in a while, I am fucking glued to them, listening, watching, like taking notes in my head to make sure that like when I'm gonna hit the paper, I can fucking give the most like just visually stimulating account of what just took place. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people worry that they're not interesting enough to be a poet, that they don't do enough things to have interesting poetry. Like, some of you might feel like you do the same fucking thing every day. Some of you might feel you see the same fucking people every day. That there's not a whole lot of variance in your life. So what I would say to this is, that is true, if, that, if that's the case. But every day there will be some little thing that's different. Whether it's how you feel, something that comes into the room, like, or outside, like you will see something that wasn't like that the day before. These are the things that you need to start latching on to. These small, tiny differences that pop up. These are the things you need to grab onto. Because those strange little differences, those are the things to make you realize that you're not going crazy and reliving the same day over and over again. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, whether it's a butterfly going by or a dead rat in the road, um, you know, it could be anything. Watching somebody fall down, always, a, always good. Stealing things. That's your fucking job. A writer's job is to steal people's lives and put it down on paper. Okay? So if you are at a party and you hear somebody 
tell some ridiculous story. It is your job to tell the world that story. And yeah, you, you need to change some of the people in it so you protect the innocent or whatnot. Anything can be great if you make it great. You can write a story about microwaving a burrito. And if you tell that story right, that could be the great American novel, okay? You can write about anything, anything at all, and make it great. There is no, oh, God, this. there's no good ideas out there. Oh, I can't think of a single good idea. If you can't think of a single good idea, then make a good idea. Start writing about the trash man or start writing about going to get the mail. Start writing about anything and make it great, whether it is a conversation you heard at a party or the wreck of your own life. Just write something. That's all you got to do. Write something, write it well. That's it. Okay? So... If you've enjoyed this little inspirational writing tip, make sure you hit the fucking subscribe button, goddammit. Alright? So anyway, there's tons of other writing tip videos like this, and I hope you enjoy them, and I hope they help you. So, keep buying my books, everybody. Like tonight, promo code down below to get 20% off until the end of the month. Type art, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.